we were testing the stream and we realized that it was a lot more polluted than we all thought it would be. And the fact that it like goes to the Atlantic Ocean and stuff like that is just really shocking. Like th thinking that like something like this could make such a big difference, like yeah. even though like it doesn't seem like it would make a big difference, it's still contributing to the problem. And so in class, we followed the path and realized what steps it took to get there. Whatever we do here can have an effect on the Atlantic Ocean. And our recycling project really just started here. So I guess before the Plastic Ocean Project, recycling at Larson can only be described as horrendously bad. Barely anybody recycled, and anyone that did, did it on a limited basis. We found like lots of shocking like information, such as like the amount of plastic that's dumped into oceans could add up to like four million elephants in weight, and it's like crazy to think about that. Like imagine all of that plastic contaminating your water. We started coming up with ideas of like where we want to outreach to the community, what we want to do in the classroom, what we want to do in the cafeteria. We went and we presented to the 6th and 7th graders about this issue so then they would be informed and want to make a change. We contacted local organizations and companies and saw if we could put up advertisements in their places and we were able to get permission from 30 places, one of them being the Ultimate Soccer Arenas who felt very moved by our project and ended up putting recycling bins in their facility. We did fundraisers and bake sales to help raise money for things like merch and gear that we could give out for more advertisement. We got a good amount of money from different places and we used that to buy two big recycling bins that are now in the cafeteria and we also used that to buy merch with like a water bottle and we got t-shirts and sweatshirts made for anybody who would want one. It's something that we, you can't learn it in a textbook. It's, some, it's stuff that you have to experience. We really got to take the lead on this, and it's just get, uh, showing a good example to the 6th and 7th graders that they can make a change. Change. It doesn't come like that. Maybe like changing the recycling bins at our school and like getting an 1100% increase doesn't sound like a big difference when it comes to like the whole entire world. but. It's a difference and it, that's what counts and like it's better than nothing. We definitely took the first step, which was the hardest part, but we hope that with other kids coming in and hopefully taking on this project that we can make a bigger difference in the world.